everyone, welcome back to Agriculture Insight. Ever wondered how squash goes from a humble garden veggie to a star on your dinner plate? In this video, we're diving into the quirky world of squash farming and high-tech processing. Watch as these colorful gourds are expertly harvested, sometimes by hand, sometimes by machines that look straight out of a sci-fi movie. Then, follow their journey into state-of-the-art factories where they're cleaned, sorted, and prepped for their big debut at your local market. Get ready for a behind-the-scenes look at squash like you've never seen before. Fun, fascinating, and maybe a little squishy. Let's get started. Meet squash, the vegetable that does it all. Meet ground cover? Squash has you covered, literally, with its sprawling vines and giant leaves. Want edible flowers? Check. A colorful, versatile veggie? Double check. This overachiever comes in two main types. Summer squash, like zucchini, which grows fast and tender in about 50 to 60 days, and winter squash, like butternut, which takes its sweet time around 80 to 120 days to grow a thick skin, literally. Squash isn't just good-looking, it's a health hero packed with vitamins A and C, fiber, and enough potassium to rival a banana. Plus, it's eco-friendly, improving soil health and inviting pollinators to the garden party. Whether it's roasted, grilled, or turned into soup, squash never fails to impress. It's like the friend who shows up early, stays late, and brings snacks, because even its seeds are edible. When it comes to harvesting squash, it's practically an art form. Picture this. Farmers in wide-brimmed hats armed with sharp knives and endless determination, navigating rows of sprawling vines that seem determined to trip them at every turn. Squash plants, with their broad leaves and sneaky tendrils, love to play hide-and-seek. Just when you think you've cleared a patch, another squash magically appears, hiding under a leaf the size of a dinner plate. It's like a treasure hunt. Except instead of gold, you find green zucchinis, golden yellow squash, or plump orange butternuts. And let's not forget the prickly stems. Squash plants don't give up their bounty without a fight. A scratch or two is just part of the initiation into the squash picking club. Harvesting squash by hand is all about timing. Pick it too early, and it's not quite ready for its culinary debut. Wait too long, and it turns into a tough, overgrown gourd that could double as a doorstop. Farmers have to use their experienced eyes and gentle hands to select only the ripest squash. The perfect squash should be firm, vibrant in color, and just the right size. Not too big, not too small, but just right. Now, here's where the magic and muscle come in. Harvesting squash isn't just about picking the fruit. It's also about carefully handling it to prevent bruises. After all, Squash might be sturdy on the vine, but once it's picked, it's as fragile as your phone after being dropped one too many times. Workers carefully place the squash into soft bins or crates, ensuring each one is as pristine as the moment it was plucked. What makes hand harvesting special is the personal touch. Each squash is gently picked, inspected for imperfections, and given a nod of approval before it's sent off to the next stage of its journey. Plus, there's something uniquely satisfying about knowing that the squash on your plate was carefully hand harvested by someone who's mastered the art. Now, let's take the squash harvesting game indoors, into the warm, cozy world of greenhouses. For certain delicate varieties, like specialty summer squash or petite ornamental gourds, greenhouses are the VIP suites of farming. Here, the temperature is just right, the humidity is on point, 
and every squash gets the five-star treatment. But don't let the comfy setting fool you. Hand harvesting squash in a greenhouse still takes some serious skill and maybe a little sweat. Greenhouse squash plants, while pampered, have a knack for growing in unexpected directions. Vines can climb trellises, sprawl across the ground, or try to turn your path into a jungle gym. It's like playing Twister, but with leaves and vines. Harvesters carefully navigate this green maze, scissors or pruning shears in hand, snipping off each squash with precision. These are no ordinary squash. They're greenhouse divas, and they expect nothing but the gentlest touch. The controlled environment of a greenhouse means squash grows faster and often in surprising quantities. Farmers might start with a few cute little plants and end up with what feels like an army of squash staring back at them, ready to be picked. The key here is timing. Greenhouse squash ripens quickly, and if you blink, you might miss the perfect moment. Harvesters work fast but carefully, ensuring each squash is plucked at its peak perfection. In the end, hand harvesting squash in a greenhouse isn't just farming. It's an adventure in a lush, leafy wonderland. It's a mix of strategy, agility, and a deep appreciation for the little green and sometimes yellow treasures hiding in the foliage. When it comes to large-scale squash farms, hand harvesting just won't cut it. Literally. Enter the superheroes of modern agriculture. Semi-automated and fully automated squash harvesters. These bad boys are designed to turn what used to be an army of workers into a streamlined, high-tech operation that gets the job done in record time. Think of it as squash harvesting on steroids, minus the gym fees. Semi-automated harvesters are like the ultimate team players. They come with built-in conveyor belts and cozy seats for workers who ride along, plucking squash from the vines and placing them directly onto the belt. It's a genius mix of human precision and machine efficiency. Workers get a smooth ride, squash gets treated with care, and the whole farm breathes a sigh of relief as acres of vines are cleared in a fraction of the time. It's like a well-choreographed dance, except instead of ballerinas, you have squash and conveyor belts. For farms looking to go full throttle, fully automated machines are the way to go. These technological wonders don't just cut and collect squash, they sort them too, based on size and quality, all while moving through the fields like a squash harvesting tank. With their sharp blades and gentle handling systems, these machines can scoop up thousands of squash a day without breaking a sweat or a single stem. Farmers just sit back, press a few buttons, and let the machines do the heavy lifting, literally. Whether semi-automated or fully automated, these machines are transforming squash harvesting into a high-tech spectacle. And while they may lack the human touch, they sure know how to get the job done, proving that even squash farming isn't safe from the rise of the machines. Once the squash makes its grand entrance into the factory, it's time for the ultimate pampering session, a refreshing water bath. Think of this as a spa day for squash, complete with a gentle scrub and rinse. These hard-working veggies have been through a lot, from dodging vines to surviving the harvest, and now they're ready to wash off the dirt and dust of the field. The cleaning process starts with a conveyor belt ride into a giant water tank. Jets of water spray every nook and cranny, making sure no speck of soil overstays its welcome. It's like a high-pressure shower, but without the awkward small talk. Some factories even add soft brushes that gently scrub the squash, ensuring every surface is squeaky clean and camera-ready. You could say the squash comes out of this looking fresher than ever, basically the vegetable version of a glow-up. But don't worry, this isn't just about looks. Cleaning is a crucial step to remove contaminants and prepare the squash for the next stage of processing. By the time the squash emerges from its watery adventure, it's sparkling clean it's all part of the journey to becoming the culinary star on your dinner plate. Who knew squash could enjoy such a luxurious rinse and repeat routine? After their luxurious water bath, the squash head to the inspection runway, where humans and conveyor belts work together to make some tough calls. 
Picture workers lined up like squash judges at a talent show, inspecting each squash for shape, size, and color. Only the finest, most flawless squash make the cut. No bruises, odd shapes, or overly ambitious growths allowed. With conveyor belts zipping squash along like a veggie highway, workers quickly sort them into different categories. Big, small, perfectly round, or a little quirky, every squash finds its place. It's a mix of sharp human eyes and conveyor belt efficiency, ensuring no squash is left behind, unless it's trying to sneak in some dirt. Once sorted, the squash are gently packed into boxes, ready to hit the road. By this point, they're squeaky clean, perfectly sorted, and all set for their debut at markets and dinner tables everywhere. Now, we'll get back to the field. Growing squash is like raising a mischievous, leafy toddler. It takes patience, care, and a watchful eye. Farmers start by planting seeds in well-prepped soil, giving them the perfect home to sprout. With plenty of sunshine, water, and just the right amount of fertilizer, the vines take off like they're training for a marathon, sprawling in every direction. But it's not all fun and games. Farmers have to keep pests away, prune runaway vines, and make sure every squash gets its share of sunlight. It's a daily dance of watering, weeding, and hoping no critter decides to crash the squash party. In the end, the payoff is worth it. Lush vines and rows of vibrant, juicy squash ready for harvest. And there you have it, the incredible journey of squash, from sprawling fields to sparkling clean factories, and finally to your plate. Whether handpicked with care or harvested by high-tech machines, squash proves it's more than just a side dish, it's a superstar. Next time you enjoy a bite of roasted squash or a hearty soup, remember the love, labor, and laughs behind every squashy story. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more veggie adventures.